So welcome to the May 13th orchestrator team meeting. Um, got the agenda there in the, in the chat, and we'll start off with the question about standalone mode. The, um, who had a question about that? Rashid yeah. Or somebody else? Yeah. Um, yeah. So Rook did have a standalone mode in version 0.5. Yeah, you found the old uh, design document. Yeah. Um, it 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 from a conceptual level, it seems to be kind of compatible to the a future SSH orchestrator. So you've you didn't follow that path into into a standalone mode, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, I I can give some background there about where we started. So where we started with Rook originally was really nothing with um, Kubernetes. It was just, you know, how can we bootstrap this something, bootstrap a storage cluster without, yeah, without Kubernetes. So it was based on etcd. We assumed we had etcd and we had daemons running on all of the nodes. Basically, we had custom orchestrator in place of Kubernetes that allowed us to but well, we still had a sort of a leader of the cluster. And that leader was in charge, like basically like the operator. It it was in charge of deciding what should get deployed where. And um, and then there was code running in the agents that would respond to the commands from you know, from the leader. Yeah, so a very similar pattern as far as operator and and agents bonding. So the, I think some of the challenges were, is when we realized well, what Kubernetes was going to offer us. Well, Kubernetes can basically provide the whole orchestration, complicated um, distributed application deployment mm. for us. We, we thought, well, because we were spending a lot of time on the, basically the orchestration scheme, like communicating between the different clients. And it, well, it honestly wasn't designed nearly as Kubernetes. Um, so basically, we scrapped that um, that orchestrator and went with Kubernetes. It was going to provide all of that for us. Um, yeah. So what would be useful for context here for SSH orchestrator? I mean, it's basically since if you don't have Kubernetes, you're going to have to re-implement a lot of things Kubernetes does. Which is or SSH orchestrator's challenge. Yeah. And yeah. At, at least we have a. At, at least we, we have a central on. component that uh, is then responsible for everything, without running any agents on the on the host. That makes it a bit simpler, I think. Just aging. Running commands over SSH. That is simpler than what we had for sure. That standalone mode. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so we're, um, yeah, I guess with the SSH orchestrator, you know, where are we today with what's the major challenges there? Um, we are. Not really far. So we have basically looked into self deploy and then converted that into an orchestrator or PNUA for basically did. Um, yeah, I think it, it will pop up in the future, that topic. It's not something that we have to solve today. I just stumbled upon that uh, standalone mode and was a bit, and it seemed to be interesting that it faced the same challenges that we are going to face with as it if each orchestrator. So I just, I'm, I'm glad you gave me some background or us some background. Yeah, 
yeah, if there's any more questions, maybe we could follow up after this, but. Yeah, I think not today. Maybe while we're at, in Barcelona. Some downtime to talk. Um, okay. I did some cute up, uh, updates to KubeChecker, basically some documentation updates. Um, simplified some stuff, made more references into the Rook documentation. It doesn't make sense to duplicate the Rook documentation in the Ceph documentation, so I just removed that part and referenced the Rook documentation. Made it a bit simpler. Okay. Um, so, Travis, you're talking about a release 1.0.1 release for Rook? Yeah, let me add that to the notes. Uh, yeah, just as as with any release of software, it's time for a patch release after the major release. There were a few upgrade issues. Issue with Ceph, or we're calling Ceph volume. So the OSDs weren't getting created. Anyway, several fixes coming in that patch. Today may be a bit aggressive to, to think about it, but by tomorrow I'd like to get this patch release out. The main scenario blocked right now is that if someone's using host networking in 0.9, upgrade isn't working. But that I haven't heard of anyone trying that upgrade since we posted not to do that in our announcements channel. Mm -hmm. Or else there aren't very many people using host networking. One of those two. But anyway, get that out. And if there are any sort of big issues people are aware of, I see if we can include them. And then I'm sure there will be a dot two at some point too. We'll start right there. I think we have a handle on what we need in this dot one release. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that to that patch release. Yeah, so it'll be good to I think base KubeCon on that when we're talking or doing demos. Mm hmm. Um, I didn't really have anything else for Rook today. If there's any questions on that topic? No, from us. For Cephalocon there, I just had a question for the meetings we're trying to have. If I didn't see a location that we're meeting, is there a, an office somewhere that, that we have? Anybody know? So it's actually a bit of a problem. I've talked with uh, Mike Paris, and um, the um, Cephalocon location is not really available. I think they have one meeting room, and that's blocked by the uh, by the Ceph board, um, Ceph Foundation board meeting. Um, and the Red Hat office is closed. Yeah. So Mike Paris wanted to look into a different location. Um, although I don't have a status update, and I have a bit of a time zone challenge talking to Mike Paris. Um, So I'm going to follow up on that and see if I can have an update on that. Just a question. I mean, why can't you get badge access at the uh, local office, Red Hat office, like we can at any other location? Is there I, some I reason that, for that? I, I think the Red Hat office is closed. I mean, closed. I mean, we, yeah. you can still have badge access and get in, right? I mean, typically, uh, I would think. No, the, yes, I, the building may be I, I, closed. Go I, ahead, I asked the yes is it, is because uh, I I asked the office manager in Barcelona. Uh, I think that it was a, a month ago, okay. And the problem is that the, even the building is is closed, so it's right. not possible to 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 go to to the right. office. Uh, wow. The the office manager proposed me uh, well to hire uh, one. Uh, one room in one of the hotels near near the office. Okay, I sent an email 
uh, I think that uh, Sage uh, was included in that. And I think that uh, Sebastian, you also. But mm. uh, well, uh, no, no news about that, and uh, they know to how to how to follow, or if if it 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 will be possible to 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 have one room in the venue or something like that. Okay, so if uh, it is needed, I I can I can uh, see the possibility to to get a room in in a in a hotel hotel near near or near the venue or near the the Red Hat office. Um, I don't know if, if uh, so. My late, latest information is that Mike Paris wanted to look into exactly that, looking into a hotel in the near of the uh, of the Cephalicon location hotel. And I don't have an update on that one. So we have to link up with Mike Paris in order to uh, to to follow up on that one. Okay. okay. Maybe we could expand the email just so we're aware of where that, that gets to. Are we uh, are we talking about the the Rook meeting or just the general Ceph meeting? It's on the um, orchestra ad. meeting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, in that pad, it looks like a more general meeting too, Saturday afternoon. Is that, I wonder if we could use the same venue or that we're, or we want to meet at the same time, just in a different location. So, uh, um, the time slot between 2 p.m. and 3.30 p.m. Um, I'm I'm not there. I'm I'm in Sage over a project priorities meeting that's uh, for the Ceph leadership team. Um, between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. there is a Ceph Foundation board meeting and we can use a time slot to meet, but we don't have a venue for that. Venue, okay. Got it. Makes sense. So, we'll, so you're following up with Mike Paris. I'm I'm following up with Mike Paris. Yeah. All right. Anything else for Cephalocon? We'll see everybody on Saturday, or if not, then Sunday. Okay. Uh, for KubeCon, uh, I put it in the agenda. I didn't have anything specific. Just to, I mean, there are several Rook talks. Um, there will be a Rook booth. So, if people want to help staff staff that. That'd be great. Or stop by. And it was good to talk to users about what we're doing. At least that's my favorite part of KubeCon. Yeah. So I'm not uh, going to attend QCom. Oh, you're not there. Okay. No. When do we think we will know if we have rooms available for Saturday? Because I guess people might, I mean, at least some, some of us might plan to change their flights or something like this. If, if there is no point of being there on Saturday, then I, I'd rather save a little bit of my weekend then. I'm, I'm, so Mike is a bit, um, hard to communicate with. Um, <laughs> he's, he was at the Red Hat Summit last week, so maybe. Yeah, maybe and, uh, so thing. he's, he's very much occupied already with stuff like that. Um, okay. I'm, I'm giving my best. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Someone in, in, in the US time zone, maybe better suited for that one uh, because Mike is in, also in living in the US time zone. Um, so if someone wants to volunteer to, to sync up with uh, Mike Paris. Yeah, if you want to just respond to an email and, and add me, then I can see if I can ping him too. Okay, then let's go. Let's continue via email. Yeah, add me as well, Sebastian, please. Yep, I will. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.
Sounds good. So that's the main question. We're to meet on Saturday. Yep. I guess if that doesn't work out, we could just maybe stay after on a cephalicon day or during a break sync up or Yep. That's all I see on the agenda for today. What do you have topics to bring up? I don't. Okay. All right, if that's all then, um, have a good day, everyone. We'll see you have a good next day. week. Yeah. Yep. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah.